Hi guys, welcome to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. Today I have a Christmas present for myself because I decided for the end of the year I want to get rid of the puzzle that has been in the back of my mind for way too long. The puzzle I'm gonna be doing today, I basically have a love-hate relationship with it because the quality of the puzzle is good enough for me to finish it but the picture is so difficult that every time I get to it I just, you know, want to throw it out of the window. <laughs> I basically went through all the ranges of emotions with this puzzle because in the beginning I thought it was going to be super easy because it appears one colour but it's actually not and then when I started doing it the first time around I gave up on it and then three months later I tried it again and today it's three months later again. So this is the third time I'm attempting this puzzle and the first two times together has taken me I think roughly about 15 hours I've got approximately 300 pieces left out of a thousand piece puzzle, so technically it should be doable in about, you know, three to four hours, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's time for me to show you the puzzle. So it's a thousand piece puzzle of a puzzle, and I'm not completely sure still what the company of this one is. But as you can see, a very enjoyable puzzle to do, obviously, that's why it's the third time. I'm not completely sure what made me think that this is gonna be an easy puzzle, but that was before I had my YouTube channel and obviously I didn't do enough puzzles for me to know what's easy and what's not. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to just put the puzzle together. I'm not gonna lie, but putting the puzzle together brought all of the emotions back from the last time I was doing it and it's not pleasant. You're just like, as soon as I put it together, I was just thinking like, why am I doing this to myself? But I feel like if I give up on this puzzle because it's not the quality, it means that my patience is just too low, so I just wanna keep going with it. But I think if I don't do it today, I'm probably never gonna finish it because yeah, I'm just reaching, you know, that limit of, how much I'm willing to give in to one puzzle and this one is like on the complete edge <laughs> so I think if I don't finish it today it's just gonna have to be passed on or maybe I'm gonna give it to my sister to finish it, I don't know I must say that going into this puzzle rested and not seeing it for three months definitely helps because I've got this fresh energy to keep going even though I remember how bad it was. It's still kind of like a fresh beginning so it's not too bad. <laughs> I think the difficult part about it is that I've got a lot of open spaces and if I just have like one in and one out literally any piece could fit in and I've just got too much to choose from so I always tend to go to the ones that either have two ins or two outs or maybe even three edges done because that helps so much. Unfortunately, at this point, I ran out of all the special shapes, so either two ins or two outs. I think this is the trickiest part because now I literally need to just find one random puzzle in the middle that's gonna help me do another chunk of the puzzle. It's different with this puzzle because normally when you have colors and stuff that separate the puzzle, but with this one, it's like you have to almost like start a line and then you, you're doing it by rows because then it shows you what shape you're looking for next, so it helps a lot. Yeah, it's a very different experience doing this puzzle and I am getting slightly frustrated with it because it's been an hour and a half and I haven't even gone through half of the puzzle yet, so yeah. It's been just over two and a half hours and I went downstairs to have some lunch 
And my sister wanted to hang out a little bit and I said I have to finish this puzzle because if I don't do it today I'm never gonna do it. Like I'm not opening it again, honestly. And she was like, well just bring it downstairs and I'll help you. And I was like, okay, you don't have to ask me twice. I'm just gonna move everything downstairs now. Like I've been sold, I need help with this puzzle because I've got at least half left to do. So any help is gonna be a good help. So I'm going downstairs now. I honestly can't believe that the puzzle is actually finished, like I didn't think that this day is ever gonna come. It took me, well me and my sister, we were doing it for an hour and a half now at the end, so in total 19 hours for me for this puzzle, which is way too long for a thousand piece puzzle, like this is not normal for sure. So here is the puzzle and I'm not even gonna attempt to do a pickup challenge with it because it does not stay together at all. But it's finally finished and I think this is definitely a Christmas present I deserve because now I can finally get rid of this puzzle and never see it ever again. I don't want to think about it ever again. So I definitely learned a lesson about the type of puzzle I should never ever ever buy again. And if you want to see how I came to the point where I started off today, just watch this video up next. And I also want to wish you happy holidays and I'm going to see you next year. Bye!